Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to plot for Chia using the new pooling protocol. So that is a bit of a mouthful, but basically in this video, I'll be showing you how to create your plots for Chia and use the pools. So what this helps alleviate is the problem of solo mining and waiting long times to find rewards. Using this method, you're gonna be able to plot um, in the same way, which is quite easy already but you'll be able to connect with pools and get a regular rewards uh, coming in. So this is my first time doing this and um, hopefully I don't make any mistakes, uh, but I'm just gonna be covering all the details uh, with you guys and hopefully show you how to get started with it. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the current setup with the Chia uh, blockchain wallet. So this is kind of my current setup, just to show you very quickly what I'm got going on. I know you guys always sort of ask me about these kind of things. So I've got 1,124 plots, uh, which is just over 110 uh, terabytes. And so these are all been solo um, farmed or solo plot, solo plotted for solo farming, should I say. And um, in terms of rewards, I've had four blocks and eight uh, cheer. So, sorry, where's the wallet? The wallet is still synchronizing. Um, yeah, sorry, it's on that same same tab there. Um, anyway, right, so let's get on with um, plotting cheer plots for the pools. So the first thing that you want to do is you need to upgrade your cheer client. So you need to upgrade to 1.2.0. So you just go to cheer.net and download for your current version, whether it's Windows, Mac, Intel, or Linux. Download and install uh, that. Then what you wanna do is just make sure that your node is synchronized. Um, just to make you aware, my wallet is still synchronizing, but I think we're still uh, good to go ahead on that front, so long as the main node is synchronized. If you've been running Chia previously, and then you just do the upgrade, it should you know only take a few minutes to catch uh, back up. So the guide that I'm gonna be using is this one here. Uh, how to start pulling in six steps. It's the, the official guide. Um, I'll link it in the video description so that you can kind of follow with the text and also the video based uh, format. So the first part is to download and run the uh, latest Chia version, which is like I say 1.2.0. Uh, I've already just covered that. The next part, which is important, which is to receive some Chia or XCH token. So if you have some in your wallet, you're good to go. If not, you can use this Chia full set. Here you just enter your receiving address. So um, I've already actually done this once um, and I did have a little bit left over. Uh, that looks like that's coming through. So you just copy your receiving address. You probably won't allow me now. Paste it. You're not a robot and submit. And yeah, you see I've already claimed it from the Chia full set, but you can do the same thing if you have a zero balance, and that's what you need uh, to get started. So the next part is setting up um, kind of the client for creating pooled plots or pots for pooling. So you have to create these things called um, NFT plots. So it's kind of like a tag for your plots. So uh, from the GUI, if you go down to pool, and then join a pool. And then you can create these self pool, these new pooled self pool plots. Now that's kind of uh, complicated, but basically it's like the new plotting format. What that means is that if you self pool, you can later change them to uh, using real pool plots. So in this case, we are going to connect to a pool. The pool that I'm going to use is this uh, Eco Cheer. Um, there's no particular reason why I chose this one. It just looked kind of uh, one of the best ones and supported the official uh, pooling protocol. If you go to miningpoolstats.stream forward slash Chia, you can see a whole list of different pools. So you can see there's quite a few here that support the official protocol. So I just chose this one, ecochia.io at the top there. So if we have a look, we can connect our miner, choose our region, um, I'm in the UK, so use choose Europe. And then we've got this pool plot um, address. So we're just gonna copy that. Now, if we go back to the GUI, we can connect to the pool. And the fee here, I wasn't too sure if there was like a default fee or 
exactly what I have to choose. So I'm just going to go back to the documentation and choose the minimum amount and just see where that goes through. Um, in these instructions, it didn't specifically say what fee to use or even if I have to use a fee. Let's just try it without a fee for a second just see what happens. Oh, uh, actually here it is. So the fee is 0.1. Um, there's a slight problem because I don't have that as my balance. Or is that fee a... like their percentage? Yeah, yeah, I think it's the percentage. So it's like 0 point, like a 1% fee of the block rewards, is that right? I don't have to send them 0.1 cheer, do I? Um, see, this is the thing why I do these things, so you can kind of learn from one why mistakes. And the fee, I'm just going to put in a tiny amount, so it's one mojo, and then we're going to go to create. Create. Okay guys, we're back. We had to wait a few hours for that wallet status to become synchronized. So the node was already synchronized, but the wallet just has to catch up in the background. So that's been done now, and now we've got this pool kind of uh, NFT overview. So one of the things that we can just check uh, quickly is this launcher ID. So if we uh, copy that, and then if we go back to the pool, uh, just to show you, go to connect miner, and then we paste that launch ID in here. You can see that we're now going for the connection process. So we can just leave that on hold for a moment and go back to the Chia uh, wallet. So from here, we're basically ready to continue on uh, creating uh, plots. So what we need to do next, uh, let's go back to the instructions and just double check. Okay, that looks great. So what you're looking for is status and then pooling. Uh, from this point, we are ready to create our new pool uh, plots. So if you go to the plots tab, uh, and I just need to make a little bit of space because I don't have much. So just on this large drive here, I'll just create a new folder. call it cheer pool plots and then in this folder with all my kind of solo mining plots I'm just going to delete one um, and then from the recycle bin just so that I've got somewhere to plot to because kind of um, I don't have very much space at all so then if we go back to the uh, GUI we can go to add plot so just one plot and then this advanced options will do eight gigs of RAM and eight threads. So the problem where I was going wrong before, I was adding in a my pharma key and my public key or try to use in the contract address in this box here. Um, I think you just leave both of these blank. Then we want to choose our temporary location, my enterprise NVMe and the external um, hard drive that I just made some space on. Select the folders and then down here we'll join the pool. So that's the pool, the Eco Cheer pool, the one that we've already uh, created a link to. And then we want to go to create, right? Cool, and we are going. Okay, super. So now we just need to leave that plot uh, plotting and then, then we can connect that plot to the pool and um, we should hopefully be able to see some results. So um, we'll take a break for a couple of hours and we'll come back I guess. Okay guys, so our plot has been created so you can see from the pool overview now we've got the number of plots is now one. So I'll just show you guys quickly also how to use the Mad Max plotter. So it looks like this. I'll just show you how to set up the configuration for that. 
So a lot of you guys would have used Mad Max Plotter first. If you haven't, go check out my previous video on it, of it and then kind of come back to this one. So if we open up the Mad Max uh, folder, and I've just got a template here. So to use the Mad Max Plotter uh, to create pool plots, uh, you only need to change uh, one part. So all you need to change is this part here. In the previous configuration, you would have dash P and then you would have your public uh, key that would go there. So all you need to do for this version is download the latest version of Mad Max or the Stoics version, which is the Windows binary, change the dash P to dash C, and then this address here, you get that from this brown dog. If you just hover over it and then you get this pool contract address. So yeah, just add in this line here remove the dash P and then replace it with your address from there. And then start up your Mad Max uh, plotter as you do normally, the plots will get written and they will basically be uh, able to add them to the pool. Uh, one other point, just very quickly, uh, when you write them using the Mad Max plotter, they won't get added to your plots um, directories automatically. So you just go to your plots and then you go to add plot directory and then you just um, add in wherever the location is of you know those new plots that you created and then they will show for your pool and then it'll all be listed here as well. Okay so the last part is connecting to the pool and checking your stats. So with the Eco Cheer pool uh, you go to connect miner and then choose your region, Europe. We've already got the pool address, we've already created that part. And then we've got this enter your launcher ID or your receive address. So if you go back to Cheer then you've got this launcher ID. Uh, it's actually, just to make sure, um, hover over it and then use the copy to clipboard, otherwise it might um, prune it or cut it short. So just make sure you get in the whole full thing. And then go back to your browser. And you can paste it in there, I've already done that. And then check connection. You can see in the URL that the full address is there. So here over Probably, you might, I'm not sure exactly how long it will take to update, probably a day or something. I guess it depends on exactly how many plots you've got. The more plots you have, the more likely you're find, likely to find proofs and it will probably update quicker. So I'd say probably leave it for about um, a couple of hours to a day and then hopefully this should um, update. From here you'll be able to see um, your profitability uh, payments and all that kind of uh, good stuff. Okay guys, so that's about it for this video. Um, I've tried to keep it uh, short but comprehensive. Uh, sort of I stumbled my way through this one, but just trying to kind of get all that information um, out to you guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next video.